So now we have our Now we've been getting away with loading up kittens just manually and we put all of the information in. This is the time when we should go get the actual cats from... At this time, we're going to switch over to using an API. So in order to use an API, let's create one called get kittens. So here we have const uh, get kittens. We should probably say cats, but that's fine. And then we're just going to use another arrow function. And this part we can say uh, get or const res uh, equals await fetch, which is awesome that fetch is now built into the browser. Uh, we're just going to use the catapi.com um, and go fetch these. I almost forgot, uh, if you're using an await, you need to use a sync. And so now we can use that await call. When res comes back, this is actually going to be a list of JSON. So we, we need to do const um, kitten JSON is equal to await res.json. So now we should have our kitten JSON. Let's go ahead and just put a new button in and, and test this out. So um, let's do console.log kitten JSON and just see what happens. So let's put down here, we have our list of buttons. Let's just put down kitten picker and a new button with our on click, get kittens. So now we have a new button called Get Kittens. Let's open up the old console and check it out. So in console, if I click on Get Kittens, we should see 10 different objects coming across, which is perfect. This is what we can utilize. We'll take the URLs from these and put those in our source. Um, we're not going to worry too much about width and height at this point, but we'll put ID in for the name just to loop through for now. So at this point, um, we can take this kitten's call and our kitten's JSON can replace that. So um, we're going to go ahead and say kittens is equal to kitten JSON. And then we can replace all of these. Now, if you remember, we have to do a little bit of work on our kitten JSON. So let's do a map of k and then we'll take our k map and we'll return back out an object that has source as k dot url and then we'll have name is equal to k dot id so let's put a let on here as well because we're gonna actually yeah let's do that so let kittens, and then let's see what's complaining about here. Yeah, we'll just do an any type for now. Um, there's some tools out there that we will get into in the future about how to set up, um, how to take a, a JSON payload and TypeScript. So the fun thing when you're doing a map like this you always need to so the interesting thing when you do a map like this and you need to return an object one of the ways to do that is just to do return and then put your curly brace in and then this is the object that gets returned um, sorry this is the open function and then you return this just kind of one of those weird oddities that uh, comes up when you're when you're kind of mapping through this like this. Um, okay, so that's the object with source and name now, which should match up to our original kittens. Now, if we want to get type specific about this, you can click infer types. Uh, unfortunately, it did any, so let's go ahead and take our source like this, 
you can copy this out like that and then just replace these with string and string and string now we have a little bit of type safety coming into this too so if I click save now um, if I click get kittens you'll see that all of the kittens are listed out I'm gonna remove the number just for clarity so that our IDs don't get a little mixed up. So I took the I out of our, our each loop down here. So now I click get kittens and I have each one of our kittens that we can click on and they will switch to whatever kittens available. These are ginormous so I might change these out. our kitten files so that these aren't so big let's do um, an image tag and do max width of 250 pics there should be able to see these a little easier now so now we can kind of go through each one of those kittens um, as we call that so one nice thing, instead of having our, our default image that always comes in and no buttons available, if I click refresh, um, it would be awesome to not have to click this get kittens and already have them available. In the next section, we'll cover an await command that actually can take that promise in so you don't have to call it each time.